This video is, uh, covers the installation and initial running of Digital Car Painter. The assumption uh, for the working assumption for this video is that you've already downloaded the program. So we'll start by uh, extracting it, unzipping it as it were. So I'll go to your downloads directory, look for auto extract. Uh, version 1.0 either 32 or 64 bit in my case I downloaded 64 bit click on that and it will if you have uh, win zip unzip it'll open on under that if you don't you can download hamster f uh, free zip archiver so I'm going to click extract it's going to ask me where do I want to download this or at least extract this too? So I've got a directory set up here, so we'll do that. DCP. So that's where it's going to un. Or, sorry, extract. I'm going to select folder, and it's doing the extract. Basically, a zip unzip. Basic, essentially, just uh, crunches files down, makes them smaller for transmission. So when you unzip it, it, if you will, uncrunches it. Okay. So I can get, get rid of this program now. And go to my directory. On drive E, where I stored it. DCP. There's a file here with the same name. I'm going to click on that. Inside that, there's another file with the same name. Click that, and then you'll find setup. So let's just hit setup. Takes a few moments to run. I'm going to install it. It says up here, publisher cannot be verified. Uh, that's essentially because we're not Microsoft, etc. So and like it says it'll take a minute or two to install uh, while it's doing that you can go off and do other things if you wish it doesn't take very long so and now that I've done that I can get rid of this once it completes the program will launch and there's the program so initially there is no license uh, because you're running in trial mode you will initially come up with seven days and ten uh, sessions so I'm going to click trial run that will launch the program there is a, uh, an intro here which if you're running the program for the first time it's not a bad idea to watch it doesn't take very long and gives you some ideas of what the program is capable of And there you go. So, I'm going to load a, a vehicle here. I uh, will use this Capri. And we're going to click on mask. Essentially what we're doing here is defining which object in the photograph we want the program to work with. So then I'm going to click Extract. So what you saw me do here is I clicked on the rectangular box. I laid out the size of the rectangle I wanted and now I'm going to click Extract. Okay, so it's done that. And you can see here we still have a whole bunch of stuff that's that if I went to paint it right now would be painted it would paint the tires and the chrome and the lights and the windows and everything so we're just going to define 
using the green buttons here, either freehand or straight line, we're going to define what is background. So I'm going to make sure that the windows don't get painted and the interior doesn't get painted. And we'll do this again. Okay. And I just got to clean up some stuff here. Take out the door handle. Take out the light, the marker lights. Sometimes you got to do it a couple of times. There we go. And the back one as well. Okay. And we'll take out the tires as in mask them off. Like that. And then we'll cross here. Leslie. Alright. Get this chrome piece. Okay. And lastly, we'll get this emblem. Okay. So we've got the lights. Looks like we got a little bit of chrome still showing here. So we'll get there. We go. Alright. So I think we have it pretty well defined. So I'm going to save this. And because this vehicle has been worked with before, it's going to come up and say this already exists. You want to overwrite it? I'm going to say yes. And yes again. And then I'm going to go to design paint. And it's going to ask you to, because it automatically saves when you leave mask, I'm going to say uh, overwrite yes and yes. So now the image goes back to normal. So uh, in demo mode, you can only use these two colors. All of the tools work. You can load a pro, uh, an image, but you cannot save the image. So um, we'll, we'll just apply the colors and we'll see what we got. Okay, so it didn't quite pick up the roof properly, but you can see that it's it's pretty much there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to background mask. You can see here the masking. It's covering some of the roof, so we're going to get rid of that. Sorry, we're just going to click here, which is these two define objects on the body that are to be painted, define paintable areas. So we're going to go here to here. And you just got to kind of work with it a little bit. And one more, I think, right there. And maybe a little bit more. There we go, I think that's got that. And we've masked off a little bit of the underside of the of the uh, bumper here as well, so we'll just do that. There we go. Okay. So we'll save that. We'll just go to here. Actually, I'll just go to paint design. It's going to ask me if I want to save it. I'm going to say yes and yes. And now we'll apply. There we go. We got a pretty good rendition. There's still a little bit of work that we could do. If I wanted to, I can zoom in and just to get a better, clearer definition. But you can see a um, very effective program for for working and looking at different colors, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, uh, so that's it. Thank you for downloading. Um, enjoy the program. If you want to get rid of the demo mode, go back to the website, digitalcarpainter.com, and just click on Purchase License. It's $15. It's a lifetime license. You will get updates as they come available, um, etc. Okay? Thank you much.